Are you guys ready for day 108? It's time to hit the trail! What's up guys? I am Michael McAnally and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year, we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you are enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. Good morning, guys. It is um, time to get back to trail. My wife is leaving today, so uh, good news. The box that went missing, or the box got sent accidentally to the pizza place, finally arrived this morning. Uh, it was causing a lot of stress because I didn't know if I was going to have the stuff that I needed uh, to get back on trail or not, which was all my food um, and things like that. Um, I'm going to be wearing my Unbound Moreno shirt now, and I'm going to switch the other shirt over to a sleeping shirt until I get it replaced because it just get, it just shows too much dirt. But uh, we've got a couple other new things uh, I'm going to go over with you guys once we get back out into the woods. But right now, we're getting packed up, um, and we're going to be heading out of the Airbnb. Um, is going to drop me back off at Cheshire. That's where I got off trail and uh, we'll finish Ver or we'll finish Ma Massachusetts tomorrow and we'll be in Vermont. So i um, excited to do that. So uh, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff packed up and we're about to hit the road. All right, we are back on trail. We're here in Cheshire walking through the town right now, uh, which is the trail and it's raining. Yay. She dropped me off and it literally started raining as I was putting my backpack on. So um, we're gonna try to get 12 miles in today up and over Mount Greylock. And uh, there's a shelter after that. And I told you I don't wanna stay at shelters, so if I find something cool, I'll stay there. But right now that's kind of the mileage that I can find something at. I looked around creeks and I looked around a lot of other things to see if there was stuff to, uh, to stay at and I can't see anything. So that looks like the mileage that we're gonna get up today. Besides, I ran into a couple of uh, guys that I've hiked with before, and uh, they said they're going to the, the shelter as well, so I'll be able to catch up with them. That would be cool. So, all right, we're going to get these miles in, and uh, it doesn't look like the rain's going to stay very long, so we'll uh, hopefully be able to, to get some filming in today. All right, we are making our ascent up Mount Greylock. And look who I ran into. What up? We got Wonka back there. You guys remember him from the roller coaster in Virginia. <laughs> he uh, ran that little section with me and uh, I hiked around him and Tweedle for a couple of weeks through the Shenandoah area. They, uh, they got off trail to take care of some personal stuff and hang out with family peeps because they're from the new uh, England area, Northeast area. So, uh, but yeah, it's good running back into them. That's who I was talking about catching back up with. So we should uh, be all staying at the same place tonight, be able to hang out, kind of catch up with everybody. So, and it's kind of cool because when you get off trail for uh, like, like I did three days, three and a half days like this, I'm sure I'll run into a new crop of people out here that maybe I've never met before. So every time I stop, either people catch up or, um, new people come through that maybe northbound hiking fast So we'll see Well, we'll probably still be weeding through that crowd of flip-floppers though That uh come through the flip-flop festival Like we did out of Harper's Ferry All right, we're gonna continue up this uh, ascent. It's hard to talk and climb at the same time So keep pushing As we're approaching the top of Mount Greylock, the whole environment has kind of changed. So the the trees have have changed into the what are these things called? 
Are they cedars? Yeah, they look like cedars. Yeah, so the cedar trees is almost, I mean, we haven't seen this since probably, uh, what was the name of that one 6,000 footer uh, that we went over in North Clingman Carolina? Uh, which one? Clingman Stone? Uh, well, no, no, it was, uh, it was after that. Uh, right before, uh, God, it's a 6,000 footer. Can't remember the name of it, but it's been a while since we've seen this type of environment change. And I mean, we're not even, I don't even think we're at maybe three or 4,000 feet of elevation, but we've been in such a flat part of the Appalachians that this dramatic change has just kind of changed the environment around us. It's been really cool. So we're, we're about two miles from the summit though, and the rain has let up. So hopefully we'll have a nice view when we get up there. All right, we're heading that way. All right, guys, we just met almost to the top of Mount Greylock. We're less than a half a mile away. You get up here, and then there's a, a cabin on this little pond at the top of the mountain. This is absolutely amazing. Check this out. All right, we are about at the top of the mountain here. It's pretty windy, but we should have somewhat of a view. I mean, it's cloudy, but it's not pouring down rain. So, but scenic view, drinking water, and the lodge is this way. Oh, look at that. Beautiful view over there. Block them out at all. All right, we're at the top of Mount Greylock. There's the Bascom Lodge, which is right here at the top of the mountain. And then they have a very cool structure that we're going to go see if we can climb. All right, we're heading that way. All right, here we are inside the tower of Mount Greylock. Look at this cool, like, roof structure here. Ah. Very cool. All right, we're climbing the stairwells. It's a pretty tight fit. Hopefully nobody's coming down at the same time. All right, so we're at the top of the tower of Mount Greylock. And you got all the different views here. Looking east. Still looking east. This is looking north. This is into the Anirondacks of New York. Williamstown and the Green Mountains of Vermont, North Adams, where we were just at. You got looking west, it's the Hudson River Valley. Teutonic Range in Albany, New York. Very cool. Man, the views up here from Mount Greylock are absolutely gorgeous. The views from the tower are pretty cool, but being out here in the open, I think it's a lot better. We haven't been this chilly, I had to stop and put my cinchy on. I haven't been this chilly in a long time. It's been a while. It's been a while since it's been this cold. Uh, the wind plus the temperature. Uh, slightly below 40 or 50 maybe. And then the wind add to it. So, alright, I'm going to climb down now. All right, we have made our descent from Mount Greylock and me and Wonka have just been having all the life conversations and it's been just making the day pass by so quickly and so awesomely. So, uh, but we're about to drop into the shelter here. It's uh, not that far away. I'm kind of hot now up on top of Mount Greylock. I was 
very chilly but uh now that we're we've dropped into scent the wind's not playing a factor anymore this uh the scent she, it's breathable so um that's the, the point of having it um it's breathable but uh but yeah we're, we're dropping into the shelter here and uh this is where we're gonna set up camp for the night so i'm gonna be hanging out with the boys tonight with uh tweedle and wonka sharing stories kind of seeing what everybody's been up to and uh, just looking forward to it looking forward to being back in the woods yeah, look baby. <laughs> I love, love, love my wife, and I miss her so, so much, and I had such an amazing time hanging out with her, um, but now it's time to get this trail done, um, but I do have a surprise coming for Father's Day, so you guys are going to have to wait, stay tuned, and keep watching, because, uh, yeah, we got something coming, something special, something special coming for Father's Day, uh, but that's about a week from now, so you guys see this in a delay, so you'll see it, you'll see it, you know, like five days after. All right, we're gonna continue this descent and get to the shelter and get set up. All right, guys, we made it the 12 miles to the shelter and uh, there's a whole bunch of people over there at the shelter right here, but it's directly in front of me. I'm set up on a tent right behind it. There are tent pads here, but I just don't wanna figure out how to set my tent up on a tent pad yet. Um, there's no eye hooks or anything like that, so you'd have to use rocks and all that kind of thing. So unless I don't, Unless I have to, I don't want to set myself up on a tent pad. But um, I'm gonna show you guys camp and uh, we uh, the Wilbur shelter is what it is. So here's the tent and there's the shelter. So we're directly set up right behind it. Like I said, there are some tent platforms up there. You can see the tent platform up there, and there's another tent up there. And somebody's setting up over there. So lots of different choices here, but this is where I'm set up at, and uh, it's a little chilly, so I'm about to climb in the tent and get into all my uh, sleeping gear and get ready for the night. It's a nice easy day getting back on trail only doing 12 miles so we'll uh, we'll look at the map tonight see how far we're gonna get. Uh, I think Rutland's about a, a week away maybe five days away so that's gonna be cool. I can't wait to experience Rutland and uh, that's kind of my next big stop and uh, yeah so we're gonna call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.